Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, later today, President Jacob Zuma will join families of National Liberation Struggle Star Wars, Moses Kotane and J.B. Marks at reception service for all of their mortal remains at the Vatikrof Air Force Base in Pretoria. Let's cross live to Sam Marshall, who's out there at the Vatikrof Air Force Base. Sam, good morning. Good morning to you, Lebanon. Good morning to the viewers. Rightfully said, that's where we are at the Vatikloff Air Force Base for the official reception of the remortal, um, um, immortal remains of Moses Kotane and John Beaver Marks. Now, in your screen right now, you'll be seeing the plane that touched down a little bit earlier. That was around 12 uh, minutes past the hour of 6, carrying, of course, the mortal remains of Moses Kotane and uh, John Beaver Marks. Now, these are the interesting things. There are family members here, official reception. You did me mention that the president will be here. The reception will kick off at 9 o'clock. Officially, the president will arrive just before 12 o'clock and the hour-long service where that uh, reception will happen. Now, both um, Moses Kutane and J.B. Marx uh, passed away in Moscow and they were uh, their immortal remains were at the Novodevichy Cemetery in the Russian capital of uh, Moscow. Now, um, Moses Katani, of course, passed away in 1978 with uh, J.B. Marks, who passed away in 1972. So that official reception will happen here a little bit later. We'll also talk, of course, to the Department of Arts and Culture, Minister Natim Tetwa. We'll have a chat to him. We'll find out about this process. He was facilitating the process. We did see visuals earlier this week, of course, of him being in uh, the Russian capital, Moscow. He was at various lectures, of course, and, and we know it's been a uh, quite a strenuous process. We'll have a chat to him and find out more about that a little bit later and talk about other um, um just other things related, of course, to the repatriation process. Don't forget, of course, earlier last year, we also reburied Nat Nakasa. So there's a couple of things that will be happening from the hangar. We are right now inside the hangar at about quarter past six, and this is the visuals you're seeing right now. The plane taxied onto the runway from a southerly direction, moving into the bay. There was a request by the family for all the media to vacate the area next to the actual runway, and we then had to move into the hangar where we are now. All the media is here. So the family is spending those kind of precious moments. I did mention also that nine o'clock will start that uh, official um, reception. At 12 o'clock, the president is scheduled to be part of uh, that official process, and that will be for roughly about an hour. Now, the re-burying process will happen from on the 14th and the 22nd of March, of course, and they will both be buried in the northwest uh, province, respectively in Pella and in Fentersdorp. Now, as you know, that the municipality of the Moses Kotane was named after him, um, and in that part, process, we'll also be talking about those things. This is so much more to cover here from the vertical of Air Force Base. Let's go back to Johannesburg where Lebo is standing by. Thanks, Sam. So we'll see if we can't speak to him just after the news or during the news bulletin. In fact,